I think the way that we cope with change is really more of a mindset that we take on when we know the change is coming, I think we have a false expectation that somehow if I just know the change is coming that nothing bad is going to happen. And it couldn't be further from the truth. There's really a predictable set of responses that almost 85 to 90 percent of people will go through when you try and change anything. And I'm not talking about death and dying kind of change. I'm talking about who moved my desk to another room kind of change. And so the first part will be uh, basically denial that it's happened. They'll look at you and say, I, I can't believe it. It's not going to happen. The second part will be shock and defensive retreat. That's the time to really manage the employee because that's the time that they'll maybe lip off, that they will say to you, it never used to be like this, that they will claim that the change is too much for them to handle. And so you have to proactively manage them about their attitude. After they get through that part, and we're talking a month it takes to move through those two stages, after they get to that part, they will begrudgingly accept what is happening. And maybe about six to eight weeks into it, they will assimilate. And so in, those, in that two month time period, when you announce any kind of change, stuff is gonna hit the fan. And I think the best thing that a manager can do is hold on to the idea that that's gonna happen, rather than personalize it and say, what did I do wrong? If you change stuff, people are gonna get upset. Fact of life.